I think somebody said they sold the car to somebody. I said, when you people sell cars to people that you really don't know, why don't you say to the guy, hey, can you go down to your local bondsman and go get a bond? What? Just in case you don't pay me back this $5,000, can you, I, I, I want, I'm going to let the bondsman chase you around. I don't want to chase you. So, can you just go to the bondsman and like, you know, it's $5,000. I said, I don't know how much the bondsman's going to chase uh, ask you. If he knows you, if he sees you're stable, if he sees you're reliable, if he sees that, that, that you're, uh, you're a good egg, he'll investigate you better than I can. Let him investigate you, let him background check you, and if he says, look, you know what, fine, I'll give you a $5,000 bond, give me 50 bucks. And pay, pay, you know, and, and pay me, you know, if, if the bond is get called in. Obviously, I'm going to chase you down for the rest of the money. Or if he says, you know what, uh, yeah, so what I'm looking at, your, your credit rating and everything about you so bad, no, you want a $5,000 bond, I'm going to need a $4,000 deposit. Well, he no, can do that. I was thinking about getting the actual substance value of the silver. I'm just okay. saying the bondsman, is, the bondsman is free to set whatever price. He's like a pawn. Yes. Pawn. It's possible. He he can set whatever he believes, whether okay. or not you can come back and pay the debt, or that you want to stand up to your word. Yeah, but if somebody's buying something from me and you don't know who he is, say sure, I'll sell. You just go give me a bond. Go give me a five thousand dollar bond. I don't care how you get it. I don't care if you put up five dollars for the bond. I don't care if you put up four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars for the bond. Go give me a bond, and you can have my car. Just go give me a five thousand dollar bond. I don't care how you got it. I don't care what deal you had to make with the bondsman. Go get one. Pay me. And then I'll hold the bond. Or we'll put it in a bank. If you don't trust me, we'll let put it in escrow. We'll let some third party in an uninterested party keep hold of the bond. And you pay me $100 a week, like you said, $100 a month, until yeah. that is paid off. Don't the car, the, the, the like, little mom-pop car dealership that leans on the, on, on the car? That, that's basically all they do, too. Right, that's all they do. But they'll, they'll, come and, they'll, they'll come and collect the bill. Or they'll, come to the, they'll come and they'll get a... They'll go get a repo man. I don't want to be bothered with the repo man. Just give me the bond. Just let a third party escrow service hold with me. Just let a bank hold with me. Let the priest hold with me. I don't give a damn. But I'm not going to chase you around. You don't pay me, I'm keeping the bond. You get out of my car. Just go get a bond. What? Go, go tell to a, 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 a bondsman. He'll tell you how to go get one. If you want my car out there, go get one. You show him that you're a good egg. You show him that you got, you're a good man or a good woman. You, you prove it to him. You don't prove shit to me. Just give me the bond. Okay. 